Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni has uh, retracted an anti-U.S. statement made by his son, General Muhuzi Kanirugaba, who also happens to be Commander-in-Chief of the Ugandan Armed Forces. General Muhuzi told U.S. Ambassador William Parb to apologize to President Museveni or leave Uganda for what Muhuzi called on diplomatic behavior. In a statement issued Monday, President Museveni said Uganda and the United States have had fruitful bilateral relations for over 60 years and that Uganda considers the U.S. a key development partner. All government spokespersons contacted refused to comment. Nkurungigi Muwada is the shadow minister for foreign affairs in the Ugandan parliament. He tells me that while there is remorsefulness in diplomacy, he hopes that President Museveni will act against his son. It is not surprising that General Museveni has consistently defended actions of his son, General Mohozi Kainilugaba. A while ago, he tweeted similar problematic tweets, alleging and threatening to attack the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Museveni came out to defend General Mohozi. We thought he would reprimand him. But little did we know that he was about to appoint him now the chief of defense forces, as he is now. It's problematic. One, it puts into question whether General Kainelugaba was well mentored and was befitting for the position of the chief of defense forces. Being a son to General Museveni, he can do whatever he likes. But being the chief of defense forces is a creature of statute in our constitutional order. And he drags the military into very unpopular positions, both domestically and internationally. So by making attempts to issue ultimatum, it was in breach of every known international convention and procedure in dealing with diplomacy. First of all, Uganda needs good relations with the United States of America. The people of Uganda needs good relations with the United States of America. We benefit a lot. And because of the recklessness of the regime in power, we have lost out on Angola. We have lost out on so many fronts. I mean, this, there's so many fronts where the U.S. government has, has been supportive to the people of Uganda, both direct and indirect aid. And little wonder, Genome 7 had no option. Whereas it is a tendency of Genome 7 to deny letters after the public has received or taken a look at what is contained within those letters, I hope this time Genome 7 won't deny that this letter is coming from him. But in diplomacy, there must be remorsefulness. We must correct what has gone wrong. But we think General Museveni needs also to take actions against his son. Kunyiki Muwada is the Shadow Minister for Foreign Affairs in the Uganda. President Yoweli Kaguta Museveni has expressed his willingness to mediate the ongoing conflict in Sudan should both parties be open to his involvement. He said, I'm ready to mediate the conflict if they are agreeable. President Museveni stated the, uh, this on Monday during a meeting with the United Nations envoy for Sudan at State House in Tebi. He retaliated his commitment to joining efforts to restore peace in Sudan, emphasizing that the root cause of the conflict lies in the promotion of identity politics, which destabilizes a country as diverse as Sudan. The president urged the warring functions to agree to a ceasefire and to hand over power to the people of Sudan. Donated Nations Special Envoy to Sudan, His Excellency Ramante Ramara, assured President Museveni of the UN's full support in resolving the conflict. His Excellency Ramara said, Mr. President, if there is anything the UN can do to assist in restoring peace to Sudan, please involve us. We are ready and willing to work with you. The UN envoy also highlighted the humanitarian crisis in Sudan, noting that while efforts have been made to secure a localized ceasefire, fighting continues and civilians remain at risk. 
Despite the ongoing conflict and the flow of weapons to both sides, there is still an opportunity to move forward and secure a ceasefire to address the urgent humanitarian needs. The meeting also were, was attended by Honorable Henry O'Kelloriam, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs, as well as UN officials Nadia Hajar and Hanan El Badawi. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. <laughs>